So I've been getting plenty of hate, especially after I did my uh, Faith Goldie video. And I don't, I usually try not to address the haters, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to throw you guys the little bone today. Stop projecting your hate on me. I don't hate Muslims. I hate Islam. Very much so. I hate Islam. And I know you're trying to hold this against me as a negative thing because apparently now in the post-modern progressive era of Justin Trudeau's Canada, Islam is angelic. Islam is this amazing thing that if you hate it, you're seen and smeared in a negative view. Same thing applies with uh, this uh, the smearing of people as white nationalists. By the way, where I come from, and almost the like every Middle Eastern country, and uh, every Asian country that I have visited in my life, <coughs> nationalism is a very important thing, and it's taught to us from a very young age. Because what are you if you are not proud? of where you came from, especially if it was worth it as a country. So, yeah, uh, so again, the postmodern era now with Justin Trudeau, where nationalism is, is a negative thing. You're supposed to sit back, you know, and surrender your country. Uh, like what's happening now with this Islamic invasion. What, what the hell is Islam's problem, by the way? Are you not done invading and destroying the world? Is this, is, like, why is this seen as a negative thing that we are fighting against this invasion? Should we just sit back and surrender and then say, yeah, come take, come kill, come rape, come take it all. Is that what you guys want? So you're calling us negative things. I'm the hater, right? Because I'm not, I'm standing guard to the country that I ran away from you to. I'm a hater. I hate the hypocrisy and the double standards that I am seeing right now in this country. I I cannot believe what why <laughs> it's catering to the brown man, eh? I can say this because I'm brown. But white people can't say this. So I'll say it. I'll, I'll take the heat because it doesn't matter. I'm a, I'm a whore, infidel, kafra who should be beheaded where I come from. And in Canada, who knows what I am? White, brown, supremacist, Islamophobic, even though I suffered my entire life under Islam. But, you know, they just smear, 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 project, project the hate onto us but who cares about us and what our stories are it doesn't matter as long as islam wins in the end right as long as we bring in the most cancerous vile version of this ideology and crush western civilization no one's gonna be happy it amazes me it amazes me what has happened i i didn't live in the west i i came here in 2003 so I don't know what, like, I probably should sit my ass down and read about the historic, you know, progress of Canada. But I'm sad. Canadians are passive. They're, they're sitting back. And then they don't know what's going on. They've been fed the news, you know. And, and they, they just consume what's given to them as facts. And it, it makes, it hurts. It hurts me. Not all. I, I'm not going to generalize. I'm, I'm seeing a good... A good rise of, you know, uh, people who are waking up and, and starting to defend their country against this Islamic, true Islamic conquest from the Dark Ages. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous what's happening. It's ridiculous that a guy in, uh, who, who left Canada to, to kill people in the Middle East, to fight with ISIS in the name of Allah, who didn't get killed to meet his 72 virgins, now wants to come back to Canada and is pleading with us 
through the news that he's gonna die along with the jihadi wives who all have the same same story you can just like cookie cutter cookie cutter story same story all the different one of them is black the other one is white the other one is like dark skinned but not really you know olive tanned same story all of them they're all dying and they're crying under their niqabs if you're dying how are you giving an interview to global shouldn't you be dying not interviewing and crying so <laughs> what these these are now the victims I'm supposed to feel bad for these people who, if they got their hands on me, they'd fucking behead me. These are the people that kidnapped me. These are the people that were, went tribal, apeshit, crazy on me for 26 years. Now they're victims. You want to see the true hate of Islam and the true hate of Islamists? Put me in front of them. Because to you, they'll bow down and pretend to be all poor and, and, and victim-like. But to me, they hate. They don't, they don't behave. They show their true face to me. So go down to my comments. I've deleted quite a bit of them because I've received death threats. And I, I don't want a death threat lingering in my timeline. So I've deleted quite a bit of them. But pay attention to my timeline. This is the face of Islam that you will see.